Hello everybody, welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot and this is going to be the general daily collective message for Wednesday, July the 6th. Keep in mind guys, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out today or over the next several days. This reading may or may not be for you. So I do ask that you only take with you the messages that resonate. Leave behind the rest. This reading is also not sign specific, but I will call out any zodiac signs that you may be dealing with throughout the reading. Let's talk about the astrology like always first, and then we're going to jump in with the cards. So today, Venus, the planet of love and beauty, is forming a sextile to Chiron. So I think get ready uh, to dig deep when it comes to any uh, relationship issues, especially when it comes to wounding and trauma surrounding past relationships. And so I think um, this is gonna be at the forefront of the energies for sure today and over the coming days as part of our healing journey. And so we're being asked to actively seek out ways to improve our relationship, to improve our love life and to heal any past pain uh, below the surface. And so it's really important to um, look at things at face value. And whenever Chiron is involved, guys, um, it does spell trouble or pain bubbling to the surface um, because Chiron is the wounded healer. We all have a Chiron aspect, no matter what your placement is, even though Chiron is an Aries, Aries is about self-identity. And so where has maybe a broken relationship in the past uh, tore down who you are as a person in order to maybe discover who you truly are below all of that wounding. And so I think it's pretty clear love life is going to be on the line in the energies today. If you've maybe recently had an argument with a significant other or, you know, a past disagreement, um, Chiron is not here to tell us how to solve it, mind you. It is calling on us to look deep into our relationship issues, into our psyche, and figure out how we can fix any self-worth issues below the surface. And so I think we're all being asked to evaluate why we keep getting ourselves into these toxic relationship cycles and to go into any fears of abandonment. Because when we have a fear of abandonment, we self-sabotage and then it prevents us from finding that right person, that perfect fit. And so Chiron is kind of asking us to look into these wounds, to look into the pain. There's no other way around it, guys. You gotta stare that pain right in the face and, and you gotta go within. And in order to do that, uh, you kind of got to just uh, look at everything in its entirety so we can embrace healing on a deep, intimate level. So we can find everlasting, loving relationships moving forward. And so I think uh, get ready to dig deep into the pain, no matter how painful it is to go through this process. This is where we really harness our inner feminine energy, whether you are a man or a woman. And Venus does rule love. So love also causes us so much pain and you hear it all the time, love shouldn't hurt. And so when we go into these toxic relationship cycles with the wrong person, uh, so many of us get stuck thinking that love equals pain and that's not the case. And so I think get ready for this intense transit to get you to do the deep shadow work when it comes to any past relationship issues. Okay, we're gonna jump in with the cards, guys. We're gonna see what else needs to come through with the cards. I actually was encouraged to grab the Rose Oracle deck today uh, since we're um, kinda in some very feminine energies. So let's see what needs to come through with the Rose Oracle deck to uh, start. Release. Yeah, what do you need to release? What needs to die away in order for this transformational rebirth? We are shedding all of these outdated beliefs, all of these toxic relationship patterns, and in order to you know, embrace this change, we do kinda gotta go into the wound. We gotta feel it. We gotta purge all of the negative emotions attached to it, and so many of us you know, I find I look around and so many go from one relationship to the next relationship to the next relationship. And have you really given yourself time to process the relationship itself, the ending, 
And so I think in order to embrace this all encompassing change, somebody has to go deep into this transformation and then we get the return. It's time to write a new story. We all get to decide what is right for us, what is not right for us, but it's about coming into perfect alignment. Everything is coming together perfectly. So this could also mean uh, the return of somebody from the past, but that return energy, it's like, get ready to dig deep and to have all of the ghosts of your ex's past come forward uh, for that uh, clearing, for that purging. So let's see uh, what else needs to come through for the collective today. Oh, that one just went flying. Oh my goodness, let's see what that one is. Oh my gosh, what do we got here? The grandmothers, beautiful. So we're all being asked to remember our roots. So uh, I know for myself, my grandmother is crossed over. My grandmother uh, passed away in 2016 while I was expecting uh, my youngest daughter. Actually, a few weeks before I found out I was having a girl. And uh, I remember the last conversation I had with my grandmother in the hospital. I was there with my Uncle Billy. <laughs> and uh, and she told me, uh, you know, uh, she told me, boy, Laura, you sure have made a mess of your life because I was once again in another toxic relationship cycle, another repeat of history with my first daughter. And... And, and I knew eventually I was going to be a single mother again. And so um, I'll never forget. She told me I made such a mess in my life. But she also told one of the nurses I was her favorite. And to not tell anybody else, I'm actually the firstborn grandchild on my mother's side. So we're being asked to remember our roots. Uh, many of us have a grandmother figure on the other side serving as a spiritual guide. And so uh, many of us are breaking these ancestral patterns uh, being guided by a crossed over loved one. And so for my own journey, when it comes to these toxic relationship patterns, my grandmother was um, physically abused uh, by her husband. She was cheated on. Um, she was actually put through it. And then she ended up raising four kids on her own, uh, you know, back in the day, which was not an easy task. And so, and she actually met the love of her life. Uh, her twin flame got married. And then six months later, he, he passed away from a heart attack. And so, um, I think we're all being asked to remember the roots of our family lineage. You know, we all have lessons to learn. We all come from a family background rooted in negative patterns that we're kind of here to transcend and rise above. And so I think get ready to shift your perspective in the energies and to trust in the weavings that are taking place right now because clarity is coming, guys. A fresh start is around the corner, but we first have to embrace this positive new outlook. Um, so remembering your roots. So you might feel uh, the need to maybe go through some old photo albums today, or maybe even visit a crossed over loved one, um, you know, at the cemetery. Um, but this really is where we stop this endless searching. So many of us search and search and search for the answers outside of ourselves. And nobody can ever give you the answers that you're seeking. It is about going within. This really is an inner quest an inner journey of self-discovery. And so we're all being asked to find that Holy Grail from within. That Holy Grail chalice always is an inside job. And so I feel we're, we're entering into this uh, temple of self-discovery is kind of what I'm feeling in the energy, tapping into all of our ancient Akashic powers and memories and activating our truest soul expression. So I think a lot of uh, light codes are coming in when it comes to this release, uh, releasing the petals and the rose garden. So this is where we learn to be gentle with ourselves. We're healing uh, a lot of uh, abandonment wounds, mother wounds, and uh, forgiveness, forgiveness of self, forgiveness of your parents, of your ancestors, for them not knowing any better. And so, um, we're in this we're in this massive uh, ego death energy preparing for this rebirth We're in some very powerful uh, portal gateway energies when it comes to some serious light code activations from the constellation Sirius um, and which is linked to Lady Isis um, and uh, the timeline of Isis and Osiris and so where do you need to forgive yourself for not knowing better? You know, when we don't know better, we can't do better. And when we know better, then we have to actively 
uh, do better and embrace these changes. So I do feel many of us are integrating a lot of these light code energies. So you're going to want to stay grounded. Um, the energy is very spirally like is kind of what I felt in order for us to embrace our, our truest embodiment. So rest, rest, water, rest, patience, because there is a secret new beginning here and the search is always from within first. And so I feel an Ace of Cups here coming through, a brand new uh, loving beginning and the stop. We don't have to keep endlessly searching for our other half because our other half is always with us, inside of us. And so get ready to rise above the fray. Um, let's see oh, what else needs to come through with the Starseed Oracle deck today, um, the energy is very high frequency. Okay, so reversals. I usually don't have these cards in reverse. So um, it is uh, the Whale and Orca Elders. So another energy of our elders, uh, the ones that came before us. And so somebody has been afraid to dive deep, I feel, um, because I think um, somebody has been asked to share their true soul song. Um, and to upgrade their frequency level. And there is this resistance. But you know what, guys? Uh, new Earth is happening. There is no going back. We need to see the light for these New Earth energies. And somebody here is being called an initiation of some sort uh, to tap into their soul gifts, to uh, embrace this higher level of training, study. It is time for us to step up, is, is another message. It's time to step up and to answer the call. So... We'll see uh, what other energies and messages need to come through with the Star Seed Oracle deck. And then we are going to jump in with some tarot, guys. Jump in. Flipped out and reversed. What are you waiting for? What are you afraid of? It's time to embrace a brand new adventure, guys. There's a lot of Andromedan energy coming through as well. And Andromedan star seeds do hold that holy grail, that holy grail key to Christ consciousness. And unconditional love. So why are you so afraid to say yes to this big, big change? Because change is a coming. And uh, somebody is getting unearthed out of their comfort zone. Uh, learning how to be human in the world, but not from it. And so you're going to want to take a deep breath in the energy skies. Uh, because um, divine will is superseding free will. And we cannot keep micromanaging our lives. We cannot keep micromanaging uh, the universe. We kind of just have to surrender to the flow of energies because we're all being asked to forge, to forge a new path, to pave a new path, and to be the leader of your life. Be the leader you wish you would have had. I know my grandmother was my best friend. She told me all of the family secrets. Uh, my grandmother and I were very close and so um, and I've never, ever, you know, not kept all of that with me, all of that wisdom. And so, um, we're being asked to stop following the crowd and to be the ones to forge these new earth energies. And so I think get ready to hit that bottoming out, <coughs> get ready to be uprooted. I'll never forget that moment in the beginning of my awakening in 2019. And I was on, on my knees, on my knees, crying, begging, praying for the truth, praying for answers. And that is when I connected with my grandmother on the other side. And so in order to tap into these higher frequencies, we do. We have to come down to our knees. We have to beg and pray for the answers and the truth to come forward. I see two people here likely that have been on a similar journey trying to find their way back to one another likely both have been in this energy of feeling completely defenseless when it comes to these woundings and it's kind of time to right any past wrongs and so many of us are clearing our family names and when we hit that zero resonance when we hit that zero point guys and we come into perfect alignment we heal the ancestors before us and we create a new pathway of healing for all of the generations to follow us. And so it's time to right these past wrongs. It's time to tap into our soul memories, our long, long gifts. And we've done this before, guys. This is not our first rodeo. So embrace your weirdness, would you please? Embrace your weirdness and face your true north. So it's kind of time for us to step into our karmic pathway, to really step into our true north node 
Um, and I know it's very uncomfortable to come out of that comfort zone. And some of us, you know, we, we face our north, we fall back. We face our north, we fall back. And we do that as many spirals as it takes before we get fully rooted in our karmic pathways. So there is resistance to um, tapping into these higher frequencies. But new earth is here, guys. We are on the precipice of fully grounding the golden age of Aquarius. And so we have to keep holding that vision, that highest vision of unconditional love. And I feel many of us are tapping into our mission work. Many of us have a double mission. Many of us are not only channelers and light workers uh, and here to be of service. Um, we also hold the keys when it comes to uh, unconditional love. And so I think it's time to follow your intuition before it makes sense. Um, that's the way I learned to live my life after my awakening. I just lived life by my intuition and it truly can be a magical uh, journey when you just trust in those intuitive hits. So somebody needs to jump in. Somebody's afraid to jump in and say yes to these big, big changes. But let me tell you, if you don't jump in, the universe is gonna come and shove you over the edge and you gotta trust that you're gonna get caught. The universe will always catch you. So take that leap of faith. It's time to say yes to this change. So let's jump in with some uh, tarot. Oh my God, yeah. It's time to break free from the confusion, the illusion. Many of us have been going through this spiraling of disillusionment, understanding there's more than just this physical reality. Many of us have been procrastinating when it comes to making these big life changes, these big life choices. And I feel crystal clear clarity. There's going to be no more confusion, but you first got to clear any residual pain on the heart. The heart is the gateway receptor to these memories, to these gifts. And when the heart is blocked, then all of the messages that are coming through cannot be received. You have to open up your heart. And in order to do that, you have to go into this great sadness, into this past pain. And, and in order to let go of the past, you have to feel it. And there's a lot of personal growth coming from this transit today coming from whatever challenges are coming up to be faced. And I feel this is where we heal all of these past misunderstandings. And when we figure out how to heal our core inner wound, that is when we can be there for those in need moving forward. So uh, let's keep going here, guys. Get ready to uh, purge some tears and maybe purge a third party interference. <laughs> um, I think it's time for gratitude. Gratitude for the lessons gratitude uh, for the wisdom that we've gained uh, throughout this transformational process um, as we shed all of these old aspects. All right, we got a page of swords and emperor reversed. I'm going to cut the deck. I wasn't ready for that. That's a very strong message. So there is a masculine here that's been uh, withholding communication, playing into pride, ego, Narcissism, definitely somebody uh, very controlling. Um, but there is going to be a major shift. There's a masculine here, uh, I feel, that's been watching, withholding communication. Um, when it comes to a missed opportunity, there was definitely an amazing opportunity that was walked away from or missed, likely by this emperor, Aries energy. We have, we have the magician, Gemini. And this masculine is definitely losing sleep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, they want to come in and work on this for sure. They know they have to come in with an apology. And they're coming in to uh, apologize to this queen of coins. <laughs> the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want to do the work. That's the overall outcome is I'm ready to put in the work. I think get ready to have a conversation with somebody sitting across the table from you. In the past, there was not equal giving and receiving. Uh, and I feel in the past, this person wasn't willing to cooperate, didn't want to work on things. And there's a feminine that got to work and she knows her worth. She knows her value. She's grounded. She's solid. She's stable. And there's an apology coming to this Queen of Cups. Um, in the past, somebody was not using their logic. There's a masculine here that has no success in his life, afraid of taking charge of a situation, maybe holding on to a toxic situation, definitely has been looking at things as black and white and not looking in between 
and um, you know, was unwilling to share, unwilling to be charitable, was unwilling to give money, time, or emotions, definitely cut off, lacked structure, discipline, was not the leader of this situation at all, uh, poor leadership skills, preparing to shed the old to bring in the new. There was, without a doubt, a missed opportunity here. I feel a divine masculine here that has no drive, no passion, knows it's time to take action, but has lost their bold, courageous energy to come forward. Um, there's fear of bringing forward news or an offer. Somebody has really been depleted when it comes to their creative juices, their passions, afraid to come in and finish what was started. And there's been secrets here. There's been secrets. There was manipulation in the past. I feel somebody's been secretly watching, lurking in the background, um, secretly trying to gain insights when it comes to a situation that I feel they've been holding on to. I don't think they've ever really released this connection, but they've not been willing to take charge and talk about it. And I feel um, somebody knows what it is that they need to do to manifest success in their life, but they're lacking the belief that they can do it. And they're all stuck up in their head, losing sleep, nightmares, stress, anxiety, guilt, shame, uh, you know, expecting the worst, likely receiving some poor, poor karma uh, when it comes to a situation that has gone on far too long, grown way out of proportion, sleepless nights. Um, when it comes to maybe secretly planning to come in with an offer, the high priestess, Pisces energy, and I feel you're not going to see this coming. This, this is coming. There is an apology, a very sensitive message coming. I think in the past, this emperor was inexperienced, likely really moody. <laughs> and I feel, um, Get ready to receive a message regarding a new emotional experience. This is going to be like an offer, an invite, an apology, a message of love. Um, and this uh, Queen of Pentacles, I don't think, is going to see this coming. Maybe this Emperor got caught up in a very materialistic, shallow foundation in the past. But they've been watching. They've been watching this Queen of Pentacles grow blossom maybe even build a business they've been watching this queen of pentacle build a beautiful family life for herself and they're trying to be practical as to how they will proceed and in the past they didn't want to look at this they had their blinders on they had their rose-colored glasses on they were unwilling to communicate unwilling to follow their heart even though there are some deep emotions here Pretending there ain't nothing going on, pretending there's no problems, but with all the blue on the card, there's going to be a very, very honest, truthful conversation when it comes to an unwise choice in the past. In the past, yes, there was manipulative behavior. Somebody who very much lacked integrity, the emperor in reversed is a tyrant, um, very selfish energy, lacked integrity, questionable motives, and they maybe thought this queen of pentacles couldn't see through their bullshit as well but i think this queen of pentacles might be a high priestess there's somebody here that is very much tuned in with their intuitive gifts and has been receiving wisdom and insights when it comes to a healing journey and so somebody's definitely been all up in their head with the swords trying to uh figure out how to proceed forward, how do I make this decision, all of these swords, because there is a need for balance. There's been a lack of balance. This is likely a connection where the two of you are supposed to do something extraordinary together. And I do feel a successful compromise around the corner, Sagittarius energy, and uh, whatever was unjust in the past is getting made right. There was definitely a, an injustice in the past. Likely this Queen of Pentacles was ghosted or manipulated or abandoned when it comes to a magical opportunity because this Emperor in reverse was not coming from a place of integrity. And so um, there will be a win-win position is what I feel, uh, Libra energy. There is a rebalancing and somebody is coming back uh, seeking forgiveness and healing. 
they want to heal this connection. They, they're trying to find their faith to stop focusing on the negative. They want to come in and seek that forgiveness and bring an end to all of these challenging times. There is some positive change around the corner. There is going to be light at the end of the tunnel and balance restored, but uh, let's take a look at this emperor reversed. A divine masculine, definitely not being divine, uh, wanting a renewal, yeah, wanting to come out from out of the cold. There was ghosting, absolutely ghosting, abandonment. There's likely even a masculine here um, healing some abandonment wounds with their own mother. There's fears surrounding money, stability. I think maybe in the past it was poor timing because somebody was coming in for passion, all right. But they weren't coming in grounded, solid, and stable. And uh, Kevin wants to come and say hi again, guys. I don't know why he's always so fascinated uh, with the cards. <laughs> but um, I think in the past it was poor timing and somebody is getting very restless when it comes to knowing that it's time to take immediate action if they want to restore passion within this relationship. So there is an emperor in reverse that has been reviewing the past, going over all of these challenges, figuring out how to come forward and seek that forgiveness, that reconciliation, judgment energy. It's judgment day. Somebody is definitely getting some karma handed to them uh, for some uh, manipulative behavior in the past and lacking integrity. It's kind of time to head in a new direction, guys. Clarity is coming when it comes to your purpose. So this emperor in reverse knows in his heart of hearts what it is he needs to do. And he needs to, uh, well, hello, Kevin. <laughs> and he needs to make things right when it comes to an abandonment, abandoning somebody in their time of need. And this emperor in reverse has really spent a lot of time working on a foundation that's really not grown, um, really not yielded any fruitful um, abundance. And I feel there was a lack of planning. And uh, there's going to be a revelation. Secrets are coming out. Can I help you, Kevin? <laughs> um, secrets are coming out. So get ready for an aha moment, a revelation. There's the masculine going through an awakening when it comes to a holy grail union, for sure. An apology is coming. So... Let's take a look at this magician because the magician has all of the tools he needs to manifest a new beginning, to shed the old, to bring in the new, and manifesting union. Oh, yeah. Somebody's uh, having an emotional breakdown for sure. Uh, we got a king of cups in reverse with the sun reverse. Somebody was very much blocked off in the heart chakra, which made them very untrustworthy. They did not come from a place of honor. They were not devoted and I feel somebody is going through an emotional breakdown. There's a masculine that's been in the dark night of the soul when it comes to learning this lesson of rejecting this magical opportunity. Everything in this masculine's life is, is not working out. Nothing is working out. No success. Because of the lack of devotion and loyalty, uh, I feel an emotional breakdown, a heart chakra awakening when it comes to walking away from what would have been a very peaceful union, a foundation, a, a love of a lifetime is what I'm feeling. And so get ready for a very emotional conversation. I feel get ready to shed some tears. I think there's a masculine here on his knees getting ready to right some past wrongs. Um, coming forward for that peace. Prosperity is coming to this queen of coins. And there's a masculine that is on a spiritual quest. But they're going to have to choose to make these big life changes if they want success in their life. They're going to have to change all of their priorities and likely leave a home situation that they've been clinging to control in when it comes to what little financial stability it's yielded. And there's definitely going to be exposure when it comes to some embarrassing secrets, um, when it comes to somebody not being honest. And this is likely going to lead to a huge material loss. Uh, somebody here is losing all of their peace of mind. So definitely um, worrying, 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 sleepless nights. So let's see where this is going. Let's uh, clarify the eight of coins because this is the overall outcome. Ready to do the work. Ready to put in the work. So no more juggling. No more playing games. Um, they're releasing a foundation that was purely out of financial stability and they're coming in for emotional contentment. 
major realignment, all done juggling, all done playing games. I'm growing the heck up. I'm rebalancing my life. I'm done juggling multiple people, multiple priorities. I just want balance in my life. And in order to do that, they're going to have to release a foundation that I feel they were only in it for financial security. There's no peace. There's no contentment. It was rooted in old family traditions that are no longer serving this person. And it's kind of time to pass on the knowledge that you gained. There is going to be a reunion of some sort that will lead to likely a happy marriage, a happily ever after, a lot of emotional contentment, and, and a very loving relationship. And I do think likely children have been a factor. So... Yeah, somebody's walking away from something that is not wish fulfillment. There's a lot of regret from walking away from what was divinely ordained for them for wish fulfillment and coming back for a missed opportunity. And to finally get that burden off of their shoulders. Somebody's carried a burden for a long time and they need relief. There's a lot of sadness here. And there is an opportunity for some new happiness. But somebody needs to get a long standing weight off of their shoulders when it comes to um, seizing this magical opportunity. They didn't see this. They didn't see this queen of coins and all of her value. She is the queen of value. She's got a golden opportunity in her hands. The queen of coins is the queen of value. And somebody didn't see her worth or her value getting a major, major wake up call and likely losing a whole lot of stability. Somebody rejected their true pair and I think they're coming in seeking some compassion. They might even need some financial assistance, likely losing out on a lot of financial security when, when they close out this, this uh, connection that's no longer working. And so um, in the past, they were not supportive and they want to come in supportive now. And they've been hiding their emotions for a very long time. Not listening to their intuition, playing into worry, playing into fear. And this revelation is going to make everything crystal clear because it's kind of time to right this past wrong. Somebody is definitely getting uprooted in the energies, um, divinely guided upheaval in somebody's personal life because they've been in a connection where they've not been emotionally content. They've not been following their heart and it's kind of time to take a sensible approach. So let's get a couple last messages from Spirit. Be brave. You can do this. So there is a masculine trying to find his strength to come forward. And I feel a feminine here that is learning a lesson about self-worth and self-value. And to stop pouring into everyone and everyone else if you haven't poured into yourself first. So uh, let's see what else Spirit has uh, for a closing message uh, when it comes to this reading today. Ooh, what do we got? Yeah, partnership requires compromise. An open heart and an open mind and I feel somebody is really getting to know themselves after a very dissatisfying depleting situation and they want to come in for nurturing the Queen of Coins is a nurturing Queen and so I feel somebody is releasing a situation that is no longer worthy of their time that they've spent a lot of time worrying about learning to trust their situ learning to trust uh, their intuition and uh, ready to face whatever obstacles and challenges they need to to get through this to come forward because they're shifting their perspective. They're looking at this through the lens of this person that they abandoned, this person that they ghosted, seeing it from their point of view. And they're coming in to face that judgment. They want to experience life in a new way, journeying towards a, a very divine connection. So... Uh, get ready for a message of some sort, guys. That's what I got. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a twin soul reading with me, I encourage you to check out that description box below, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.